Hi guys, um, hope you all had a awesome Halloween. Sorry that this video is going up a little late, but I thought I'd show you how I did my Sally makeup. Um, so what I did first, um, also bear with me because I've never done a voiceover before, is um, I just primed my face there that you can see. Any primer is absolutely fine to use. Um, I just thought this would help separate the uh, face paint from my skin as face paint can be quite harsh. Um, so I just wanted a little layer there just to stop it from being directly on my skin. So I went in with a light blue face paint. Um, my, this particular brand was the Snazaroo kind and you just wet your sponge and put it all over your face. And then I just blended it all out. Um, it was quite watery to start with, I found. Um, that was my bad. So I kind of just had to do a couple layers and let it dry down. Um, as you can see, I did my neck and my shoulders as well. Depending on what outfit you were going to wear is depending on how much you would need to cover. Obviously, if you were going to have like your shoulders covered, you wouldn't need to do that much. Um, I just decided to do it for the effect. But in hindsight now, I kind of wish I'd done my whole arm. So I'm just going in and putting a second layer under my eyes and in the areas where it didn't stick too well. I then went in with some white. Um, this was the face paint as well to kind of highlight the areas. I do go back in a little later on with a thicker version because I just found that it didn't highlight it enough. But I'm just highlighting the areas that you would normally highlight, like under your eyes, your nose. There you go. Look, I've gone back in with a thicker white because I just didn't feel like that one did it enough. It was too um, watered down. So I went in with the thicker white, highlighted all under the eyes, the nose area, the forehead, everywhere you would normally highlight with your makeup and um, with your concealer. I went in and did it with white because so then you're just going to go in with the sponge again and buff that all out blend it all in make sure it is seamless then as the contour I used a dark blue you will see later on I do go in with a black to make it a little bit more harsh but I did want the contours to look like natural blue skin contours so I went in with the darker blue face paint again that was the Snazaru brand I'll try and link everything I used down below however I tried to use stuff that you could use literally any kind of brand for contouring all the areas that you would normally contour your cheekbones around your nose my chin and my head I then went in with a white setting powder again I think this is kind of like a face paint powder it is white I use it for Halloween's um Halloween's yes I have used it on numerous Halloween's but that isn't what I meant to say and I just use that to mattify it all set it all because face paint can be quite sticky um, I then went in with a white under eye pencil and this is just to make your eyes look bigger because obviously Sally is a doll and her eyes are huge. You could go further and highlight all under your eyes but I just did my waterline. So as you can see I pointed at the black there. I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more definition to the contour using some black. I didn't want this to be overly harsh as not like a vampire or anything like that. I just wanted it to look like she had the natural contours and deepen up the ones I'd already added with the blue. I did think that adding the blue first did make it um, a lot more natural looking. Obviously I have a blue face. Um, but I still wasn't overly happy with my nose. I kind of reminded myself of an avatar at this point, but you will see that it does all come together at the end. Um, here I decided that I was going to start doing my eye makeup just to try and make the look a little bit more pretty because it was reminding me, like I said, of an avatar at this point. And I just used a grey eyeshadow and kind of winged it out to give the eyes a lot more feminine, cat-like look. You can see there, it just kind of makes it look a little bit more... Hmm, Feminine, I guess, is the word. So, yeah, all I did was one shade over the whole entire eye. Depending on um, your skills, you can obviously go in and make that as um, advanced looking as you want. I just decided to keep it super simple and super easy for the people. I then went in and did my brows because I'd obviously covered them in lots of makeup so you can barely see them. I went in and used just a black eyeshadow powder with an angled brush. Just did my natural eyebrow shape super easy super simple just do your normal eyebrow shape that you would normally do then i went and did the other one and then i did decide that i wanted to thicken them up slightly 
than my normal brows so you will see me adding a few more strokes just at the front trying to make them a little bit not as neat but still very pretty and feminine as she is quite a pretty character um sorry for covering my face at this point this is me doing a wing there you go i didn't keep too much of the editing in because you couldn't see much i have just done a big cat wing again to make the eyes look a lot more feminine because she is a doll and she is known to be quite a pretty character i wanted the eyes to be very very feminine as we are covered in blue and i wanted it to be obvious we were a pretty lady so yes, um, just go in and do your regular winged eyeliner, draw it out as big as you would like, this is what I went for. I then, again, sorry you can't see it very well, I drew under my eye to make my eyes look like they were bigger. You will see what I mean, there you go. To make my eye have the effect that it is a lot wider, I went ahead and did it on the other side and again drew out the edges to make it look a lot more feminine and I also did the same on the inner corners. Here I am going in with the highlighter because I was trying to make my nose look smaller um, and just highlight all the areas that I needed highlighting where you would normally highlight your nose, your cheekbones, your head and then I also did my lip as well. At this point I still was not happy with the way that my nose was looking so you will see in a second that I do contour that a little bit more but yeah I did highlight my nose and everything here. If I was doing it again I would highlight I would go in and do the highlight after I contoured the nose again. So in some of the pictures I've seen people stick on fake lashes on their bottom lids um, I did not have any so I improvised and I'm just drawing little lashes on like you can see there I drew three on the outer corners three in the middle and then I've gone in just now like you're going to see and did them on the inner corner as well I added a couple more spikes on the edge just like that hopefully you can see it a lot more than I'm a lot better than I am explaining so yeah just here I decided that I wanted to add a little a couple more on the inner corners and you'll see what I mean there I think that gives it a nice dull effect so I just decided to go and add, start adding some of the um, stitching in. So you just need one over your neck for Sally and then go in and add some like stitch marks. She has them very mismatched. So go in and add some crosses, some lines. They don't need to be very even. She does look like she's kind of been just etched together. The good thing about her being a rag doll is you really don't need to be too precise to make these look very neat as she it does look like she has been sewn together. So I went in and added the red lipstick just to see if this would make it look a bit more feminine at this point. So she does have red lips. So there we go. Simple. Any red lipstick will do. She has another stitching across her forehead going from the middle of her head to her eyebrow. And then again, add the little crosses, the little lines, make it look like you have been sewn together. I used a liquid eyeliner for this. Um, I'm guessing you could use a black eyeliner pencil or... Um, any kind of face paint but I used, just used my regular liquid liner the same that I used for my eyes. Um, I have fake lashes on my um, eyes anyway so I just went in and brushed all the powder out of them but if you do um, not then there would be the time to add fake lashes if you wanted to or mascara or anything like that. If I didn't have my lashes on I think I would have stuck a nice big pair of lashes on at that point. And here you go, here you can see now I've decided to go back in and contour my nose using the black. I think this gave this a lot more of a feminine Sally look as she does have a very small thin nose. So I definitely recommend doing this part and then highlighting it all because this just kind of brought it all together and made it look a lot more feminine like Sally's actual nose and stopped me looking like an avatar. So she does have the stitching going from the inner corners of her lips up her face so this is the point I've just gone in and done this and again just do the cross stitches, the little lines, make you look like you've been etched together. I then went in and um, drew black around my lips. Just to bring it all in and look as though my whole entire mouth section had been stitched onto my face. This was my first time doing Sally so it was a lot of trial and error but I think it came out looking good. Here you go, adding my little stitch marks now. Again, super easy, you don't need to do anything overly neat. She is a ragdoll. <laughs> I just feel like I'm repeating myself. I hope this comes in handy to somebody at least. And then again, 
to the other side as I'm pointing here. She does also have some marks on her chest. Again, depending on what outfit you wear, will depend on how much you have on show. If you have something covering this, then again, this wouldn't really be necessary. But then there you go. That is what that ended up looking like. And obviously Sally has ginger hair, but I do not and I wasn't going to dye it just for the sake of this video. In the thumbnail you can see it is a bit more orange, I just added that with an editor for the sake of my photos. But this was the overall Sally look, I just put on this orange dress because it's very similar to the kind of things you'll see her wearing. Um, but again, I didn't have an outfit for her, but this was the finished makeup look, I hope you liked it. Um, I am not a makeup artist, so I'm sorry if it's not very good, this was my first attempt. But yeah, it's me doing my best Sally impressions. Oh, <laughs> I hope you liked it, guys.